testing, testing, three, eight, thousand. All right, I'm just going to do a practice read. Okay. <clears throat> Ahem. After just defeating a giant spider in the underground labyrinth of Vesper, the gang plus two beer boys head farther into the labyrinth. They run into an intersection where they decide to go left. At the end of that hall, they find an unusual orange glowing doorway. Ipa got a bit too curious and lost part of his arm consequentially. Not really sure how to deal with the doorway, the crew resort back to the intersection. They proceed to go straight this time and uncover a treasure chest. Talon noticed that there was something unusual about the chest, so he used his sword to investigate it from a distance. Just as he does that, the chest initiated a fight revealing itself as a mimic. Aubrey succeeds on a fairy fire cast to reveal the enemy in the dark, and Talon followed up with some good sword damage. After Nova makes contact for a perfect 3 for 3 on the fight, Aubrey strikes the final blow with the infamous Dad Sword. Everyone heads back to the intersection and they decide to go to the beginning of the labyrinth to check some pathways that they initially passed on. To their surprise, both the pathways were now closed off. They all decide to take a short rest before returning to the orange glowing door. All of the gang head back to the glowing doorway but are still stumped as to how to proceed. Aubrey used an arcana check and found there was some sacrifice necessary. After throwing some items through the wall with no luck, Aubrey recalls a theme of blood throughout the journey so far. With almost no thought, Aubrey slits her wrist with the dad sword and stabs it through the doorway. This deactivated the orange barrier, however Talon was very unhappy with Aubrey's recklessness. The dad sword remains intact and the five adventurers head through the doorway. The room behind the doorway contained what looked to be a pillar of slime. Naturally, Aubrey decides to dive at the pillar but gets stuck in the ooze around it. The slime awakens and Nova goes to grab Aubrey, but she also gets stuck in the slime. Talon steps up to be the primary damage dealer this fight, while Nova and Aubrey do their best to escape the slime's grasp. Aubrey manages to throw a lit torch in the foe's mouth and finishes it off. The core three adventurers all level up, and the beer boys join them to continue through the labyrinth. Alright, now let's do it for real this time. Welcome back to Troll with Advantage. I am Harmony, a.k.a. Aubrey Weathers. I'm Brandon, a.k.a. Talon Dega Knights. I'm Janelle, a.k.a. Nova Keldrar. And I am your DM, Michelle. So do we want to run through what we get at level three? Are we doing our like full stat reset? Or is that, that, that not happening? What do you mean? Last level, you let us just re I think everything. we got everything back on level up. Yeah, so whatever we did for the last time, you could yeah. we we're doing all right. it okay. for this okay. time. Okay, we're so we get all our stuff back. All right, so upon level up, Aubrey gains, I believe, one level one spell slot and two level twos. So I finally can use a level two spell. Sick. I get one more spell learned. I also join the College of Glamour, which first ability gives me Mantle of Inspiration, which allows me to give my teammates bonus health. And... Expertise, which I get to add double the proficiency to two of my skill checks. And then another hit dice and the health. So I'm going to take or the five instead of the rolling the one D8 for my health. So I'm just going to go up to 18. Talon says to Aubrey after this whole boss battle, I'm like, you've been looking real glamorous lately. Like, I, I've been noticing, like, you, like, I don't know, you're, really just, pull, you're pulling those robes off. Like, I don't it's know. Just it's just shit and water damp. That's like, real good just, for things for you? I can make it work, apparently. I'm just rolling my eyes. All right. So you said all your stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have plus one hit dice. I can now deflect missiles. Um, so pretty much if someone like shoots a weapon at me, whether it's like an arrow or whatever it is, I can use a key point to catch it if it's like the right size, as long as it doesn't hit me kind of thing. Like I would roll to make sure it doesn't hit me. I think I have to get like a five. I don't believe you need to waste a key point. You only do that, I think, if you want to throw it back. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, okay. You, okay, get, you get like so, a negate damage on it, and if it goes past the full damage, then you can catch it. But if it just doesn't, then it just negates the damage. Right. Smack it away, yeah. Okay. Nova, do you know which fantastic traditions you're going for? Uh, yes. The way Montastic. of the elements. I'm going with the way of the yeah. elements. Here, you get a hit dice, and you yeah. get a level. I mean, some more health. Yeah, and then I also get one more key point, and then I think I'm going to just take the five plus my constitution for... It's probably for the Because I, I rolled so bad last time. 
So I add that on top of whatever my armor class was, or where, where am I putting? No. Or no. Your oh, sorry. Or sorry, my health rate. So now that way I'll be at um, I'll be at twenty then cool. for my hit points. Nice. All right. So Talon is getting to level three now. So I need to look up one thing real quick. But I'm taking the battle master martial archetype because okay. I figure Talon's been training with his dad to fight, and his dad's taught him a bunch of like sweet army maneuvers. So I get like military army training sort of. And basically what that means is I get to, I get like a, I get eight or four D8s that I can use randomly, like four, it's like they're sort of like key points, I guess, if you think of the monk way, but I get four D8s I can use. And they uh, can be used to like do different cool maneuvers during battles. And then I also get a uh, student of war, which is, um, I just gained a proficiency with a type of artisan's tools. And I already had a proficiency with, I think I wrote down looming, I guess, or whatever, like the sheep's wool, like making fabrics, whatever that, if they, if they're, I don't know that ever comes, whatever the, that proficiency of tools is. Yeah, it's a loom. I took that a while ago when I started make, making fabrics, I guess. But now I get another proficiency in tools. So I guess I'll take smithing, I guess. Smithing's okay. tools. That's cool. And then I also get uh, another hit dice and I get another hit points upgrade, which is a nine plus my constitution, which is a two. So I get 11 more hit points. So now you have 34? Yes. Wow. So we be in a dark sewer thing. Sewer room. And above you is uh, about 25-ish feet above you, I'd say. There is a pit or like a circle thing, but it has like bars over the top of it. Like it's closed. It's sealed right now. Are there any other exits in this room? Um, you can do a perception check. I was going to say also, is it just sky above us? Like you just see, or what's above? No, out, it's, out of the- it's 18? inside a building. 18 on a perception check. Nice. So you go around the room, like with your hands kind of like feeling over all of the bricks. And when you get to the back of the circular room, you can sense that there is a a secret door or like a panel behind there. But there's still light, right? The torches are still there. Yeah, the torches are still there. What do you think, guys? It seems like there might be something behind this spot right here. Yeah, sure. Let's check it out. Press the button. Is there a button? Or what is it? Like a- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see a button. <laughs> um, there is not a button. But as you look over the door or like the, the wall, you notice like this little circle. Can I look through it? Uh, yeah. You don't see anything on the other side. It just looks like you could put something into this little circle. I know this is kind of random, but remember that crystal doorknob I got a while ago? Yeah. Why don't we just try it? I'm going to pull it out here. Let's see. Okay, so I put that in the spot. And do you turn it? Yeah. You hear the same sort of like concrete sliding noise and like this four foot by six foot tall door like opens right in front of you with that doorknob. Good old Gamma Ray. Where did she find this thing? I love that lady. Just her doorknob in her, in her house? It was in her shop. She has a magic shop. She <laughs> must have been here before. Ooh, Maybe Gamma like Ray. A, a put on the suspect list. Adventurer past. There could be something to it. I wouldn't second guess Gamma no, she's Ray. She's just crazy because she's like had some kind of mm-hmm. mishap. She heard a bit or too much just, of that guy's mumbling. Yeah. We're well adventurous. That was the problem. Yeah, she had the, she had the thing and everything. And then she went home and just put it in her doorknob. She got all the way here. <laughs> got all the way here. Fought that thing. Got confused by its mumbling, went home, but used the doorknob and forgot. And now she just has it. It just. Yep, that's what it was. That's what it was. Serendipity. (laughs) Well, we're here now, so. All right, I guess we go through the door. All right. um, So just so you know, Stout and Ippa are still incapacitated on the other side of the room. Oh, my gosh. Can we just go back and drag them back, I guess? Dragon whistles again? Just buy their freaking. It is nice to have two more shirts. people. Just- I'm now that I'm so- level three, I'm gonna try to pick one of them up again. Me? Oh yeah, I want to roll two. I'm gonna try my strength again, even though I haven't okay. upgraded it all. I'm just feel good. Oh. I can't roll good. That's a nat one. Wow. You go and you try to pick him up, but you just drop him on his head, and now he has a concussion. Oh. Okay. Can I try? I put one more I'm mushroom in. I'm bad at carrying people, guys. I just take his what? head and just no. like chomp it. Like I'm just like chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, Aubrey. <laughs> Putting another mushroom in the concussion oh. guy's oh, head. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to try and carry him now, too. I got um, 18. So you were able to fireman style over your shoulder. Got him. 
All right, so that's just one of them. Can I just pull the other one by its freaking neck? I thought we were. Gonna drag. Well, the other one could probably like. Is, put the, his goo arm is the goo still there? Is the goo? Is the goo still there? Yeah, the goo still there. Oh man. Just leave him there for now. Yeah, you no, can put we his arm can't. around you and, and walk with him like you did before. Yeah, me and me and Talon will do the, yeah, the is, walk is he, by. Is he again. awake enough to do that? It's nice to have other people to walk with. We have three. I'm getting fed up with these guys. Me too. Yeah, Talon but is. Talon is getting fed up. We've come too far with them guys. to leave them here now. All right. Let's uh, bring these guys with us, see if they uh, get any better. Stop feeding them mushrooms. So as you push out the secret, the door, it opens up into like this little back alley way thing still stone and concrete but there was like a stone staircase up against the wall going up can we climb it yeah you can go up the staircase but these guys can't oh my gosh well we can carry them for now i guess up these stairs and another strength check yeah well, yeah um nova you're good oh, okay can nova just bring them up with her one by one and go back down if this is like to the city i guess we don't know where this is to yet I'll go first, and I'll, I'll check it out. You should go up by yourself first? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if the coast is clear. As you go up the stairs, you realize that you are in some sort of, like, dungeon-y jail cell area. You reach the top of the, the staircase, and you just see, um, like, jail cells with people in them. Am I I'm in one of the cells? No. Oh. So where can I go, like... You can go straight and, like, walk by all of, like, so basically it's, like, a hallway, and then on either side of the hallway are, like, jail cells. I yell, how many of you think you belong out of here? None of them really respond to you because they all seem, like, to be in a daze. But you do catch, like, the attention of one of the guards walking by. Like, he for sure knows I'm there, or he's kind of just like, hey, what was that? Yeah, like, you know, like, the it's just like a he heard a noise. Okay, I quickly run back down where the stairs were and get back to my team to report. So there is a jail up there, pretty much. There's people who aren't in for a saving, apparently. None of them want to be saved, but they're all in jail cells. What do you mean? Like they, they what do you mean they didn't want to be saved? I asked them. They just didn't answer or like yeah. they Oh. Like they didn't even notice you or they didn't seem to care if they did. Do you think they had a couple mushrooms too? <laughs> maybe. Maybe the mushrooms are like the, the maybe, maybe like getting This goes right to the top. Yeah, it's just right to the top. It's like this is the, the freaking key to the conspiracy. I love that he's at doorknob. Oh, I guess you didn't check. You didn't check that. I was gonna ask if they looked like they were like stout and Ippa looked when they were high. But you didn't really guess you. No one that, really looks look like stout and Ippa when they're high. No, but you know what I mean, though. Yeah, a little uh, bit. Whatever. Let's just go up. Like can we. So you can. There's a guard the up there, though. Watch out. There's a guard. Yeah, but do we know that it's he's hostile right away? Maybe. I mean, you know, we snuck in there, but maybe we can just say we were lost or something. <laughs> <laughs> We're just looking for the vending machine. Like, we're just, as far as he are, knows, we maybe, to... maybe we could tell him that these guys are prisoners that that we are oh, trying we to get that, back yeah, to well, the We don't even look at anything like guards. We're just like a dragon just, board. A uh, couple trying... half elves like walking around with some drunk people. We were sent to go find them or something. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's they a They tried reward. to escape into the sewers. Can I stealth down across the room? Oh, yep. See if I can see how many other guards there might be. Nice. I'm guessing they're around yeah. the corner. I'll stay out. We'll all stay here. We'll let you do it by yourself. Ooh. Chances are better if you go by yourself. Ten. So you creep your way back up the staircase, and um, before you like jump out into this hallway again, you see a on the end of the hallway. You see a creature that you've never seen before, but it is um, like to your knowledge, you know that it is a tiefling. Okay. And so in this world that you're currently in, just for general knowledge, you know that. Tieflings are extremely, extremely rare, and they're not seen very often. So can I so, sneak up to the tiefling? Did I stealth enough to get like behind the tiefling without him or her knowing? No. Okay. So I guess I go back down and report again. Say, hey guys, there's a one of a kind kind of person up there. What do we know about them? What, what do we know? Like, what makes them rare? Like, do we know what's the history of them in our world? So you know that they're very rare, and they contain like they have the ability to perform extremely strong magic. But like, do we know, like they're specifically, they're rare because of what? Like they're only born from devils or? No, they're just like, like a species that just doesn't breed a lot. Okay. They're too like intellectual. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, cool. Yeah, just, just curious. I'm just trying to set the stage in my mind. You, you reported it to us. So did you? Yeah. So basically, so basically it's a cell block with a guard for sure. 
And then you met, you also saw a tiefling. I don't know where the guard is now because I. The guard is walking around, and then the tiefling. When I went back up the second time, the guard wasn't there, I guess. It must have been somewhere else in the right. block. And then the tiefling was just sitting there or standing there. Where was it? Sorry, it was just. It's across the room. He was walking room. back, like. So the also patrolling. was the guard. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay, so there's one tiefling guard. I say we just try to go up there and we can just incapacitate the guard if we have to. You and me can be stealth ahead while you hold the. or whatever. Alright, we change our marching order for the stairs. And okay. I go in the back this time. We gotta get and we're just gonna there. leave the bear boys down here. Okay. Okay. They yeah. don't seem like they're in harm. They've got the torches. I'll li- I like lean the torch, one of them against the other side of the wall, so it's not near them, but they can see. When they wake up, we'll hear we'll them. Come or get them. We'll re- yeah, we'll remember. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So we'll sneak up. We'll all sneak up there. So it's you, Nova, then me. And we're just assuming this guard's bad, so we'll maybe just try to incapacitate him and ask what's going on where we are. Yeah. <laughs> or, or just lock him in a closet and tie him up or something and keep going. What's something them? like okay. that. Michelle can kind of tell us. Sure. So are we just stealthing up there? All right, here we go. We're stealthing again. All right. So can you all roll for stealth, please? Nat one. Perfect. All right. You're a clumsy, clumsy kind of guy. I got a uh, 10. 10? Yeah. And I got a 12. Okay. So you all start to head up the stairs. As you get closer to the top, Nova, you're crystal or your scale on your arm like starts to go absolutely insane it like starts to hurt so bad and then you can feel this shell casing go around you and you now look exactly like a tiefling okay um can i whisper to so or Uh, what the what the you haven't noticed your change yet okay Okay, that's what i was gonna ask like Am I, if I was to whisper right now, would the tiefling hear me? Like, sh- or should I be? No, you can whisper right now. Okay. So I'm behind her, but I don't realize anything changed. Oh, like, oh, right. in just that second, you don't. But you do after she changes. Guys, hold on a second. Look what happened to me. I'm like, what the, what the, what the f-? I was And my nat one is probably me being like way too loud of a reaction, probably. <laughs> You're like, oh shit. You're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't know what happened. But this could maybe be a good thing. All I know is my scale started hurting. What Does do it still I, hurt? Yeah. What do I look like, though? Like, I know my scales and stuff are looking different, but... You look like a tiefling. Oh. So, oh. your yeah. tiefling is, a like, a light purple color with about, like, a five-foot-long tail. You know, like, the Maleficent horns? Like, they kind yeah. of have that spiral in them. Okay. Which are black, and your eyes are now, like, this really bright purple color. Okay. All right, well, maybe maybe we could use this for, to our advantage. Like, oh, maybe I could pretend you two are my prisoners or something. Yeah, is there any... Do we see any... Another up there, do we see any, like, like armor? Like, a guard, like the guards, like, a prison armor, sort of, like, guard armor stacked anywhere? Um, You just see kind of, like, the, the guard just, like, pacing back and forth at the end of the hallway. So, like, every once in a while, he'll come by, and then he'll go back the other way. All right, well, let's just keep sneaking. And if he sees us, maybe we'll just have to pretend that I caught you guys in the sewers or something. All minor illusion, like, handcuffs on myself. Okay. But accidentally, like, the first and, time and I tried he- to do it, I went too far. And I'm, like, signed, kind of like a BDSM situation. Yeah. Like, f- like, fuzzy. So, like, fuzzy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just, like, gagged. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what the? You guys are, like, too far. I'm and- like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Keep it PG. Like a pick at Thanksgiving. What are you? Oh like an apple God. in your mouth or something? Yeah, it's an apple. <laughs> it's an apple. <laughs> hey, all the prisoners are looking at you now. <laughs> They're all, right, all so doped out. Yeah, these but uh, look. All the prisoners are either um, dwarves or gnomes or dragonborn or orcs, and they all are like heavily under the influence of something. Mm. Does it look similar to what we saw a uh, stout in Ippa? Hmm. Huh. Let's go to the top. I think you're right about going to the top. Whoa. Can, can you can get that out of your mouth? <gasps> un, un, you can, All right. It's just, an illusion. it's just an illusion, right? Yeah, okay, you can okay, just yeah. do whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, fix yourself. Can you illusion me some handcuffs so, too? I think you can do it three to- three things, can't you? Three effects? I don't know. But I guess the, DF, the, the DM allows the it. The prisoners are human, any sort of elf, or like oh. cheap things, obviously. Right. So it might not be believable. But I guess we'll still just try. I think we'll be okay, way. maybe. So yeah, I cast not, just regular handcuffs on the Because we're not any of those things now. Oh and right. So, like, oh, so we like, might not actually have okay. to. They'll be okay. They'll be like, oh, you're you're chill. You're not yeah, a- okay. So guys, actually, we- I think you might be okay to just. 
be yourselves, and we'll see where, how it goes from there. Like, what about the guard? Yeah, maybe like, but maybe they only they're only capturing like people who are on the mushrooms. You're saying? Well, like, oh no, I think they give them the mushrooms to subdue them. I think I think people gave the mushrooms to the to these to the beer club, like the same people, like because they're coming to town. Whoever is giving the mushrooms to these people, Although we're, we're half elves, and there's no humans, half elves or elves caught in those cages. It's just uh, dragonborn. I still really think we should. Sneak? Yeah. Okay. I think we do the sneak, both, but both shackles and shackles. Case. And if he seems chill, you talk to the drag- tiefling. There are tiefling. dragonborns in there as well. So I, that's why I feel like I was somehow, my scale is helping me and I changed yeah. because. Well, let's just try it. And then Anyways. if it's something, if just go try us. talking to the guard. Okay. So as you are walking out of this, of this dungeon area, you overhear two voices talking to each other. I think there's been some sort of disturbance in the labyrinth. I will go down to double check. But I think we might need to conjure up a whole bunch of new creatures for our subjects when we place them down there. We can just add some more sacrifices. It's fine. And then the voices like scurry off. Towards Which us? Away from you. Okay. Like toward, not towards where we came. No. Okay. So then we walk out Labyrinth. of that hallway. But that guard, that wasn't one of the guards. It was just like some other people. Yeah, it was just some other people that were down there. Okay. I guess we keep sneaking. We try to like. I think nobody could just go up to the guard and just be like, hey, what's up? Maybe. But now they've walked away, so let's just keep going until well, we di- like catch up person. to one of them. Yeah, or, those were different like, people, I don't wanna... apparently. The guard's still there. The oh. guard is still there. Oh, is the guard still just there? Just go talk to the guard. And just see if... Uh... Okay. So... if you have to fight him, we'll fight him. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I guess we go approach the guard. Okay. Um. Mm-hmm. So as you approach the guard, he sees that you're a tiefling. And he says, have you checked the labyrinth? Yeah. Who are these people with you? Where did you find them? The elves aren't supposed to be down here. I know. I think they were sent for some sort of special scout out with the labyrinth. They wanted. They were told to help out. Anyways, we don't really know. We were just told to get. We were just told to uh, come down here. Anyways, we, we checked tried it to out. Conjure more things for the labyrinth. Yeah, we were just told to check it out. Like people were saying, there's a weird disturbance down here, and so they sent us just to come check it out the with, with the tiefling. Looks kind of like. Like, and why are you in shackles if you're the one answering? We're not in shackles. I thought we decided that. Well, she's. She asked what we were down here, so I don't know. I would just like, my hands are high on my back, like they were in shackles, but I kind of just leave them there, like not like weird, just kind of like okay. I'm standing there, and I act like I just that's the way I stand, kind of, and I just I'm talking because this is kind of going. Maybe I kind of nudge Aubrey and kind of say, "Hey, take off the shackles." <laughs> these shackles, <laughs> oh. and I like these shackles, <laughs> like show them to the guy. Why? <laughs> he like looks at you, and then he looks at the the cut on Aubrey's hand, and he's like, "Oh, I see." I see you were just con or you were making the barrier stronger. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, get them out of here. They're not supposed to be down here. So I will let going. the high priest know. That we okay, sure. That perfect. you came back down to fix the barrier. Yeah, perfect. Okay, thanks. All right. Well, um we'll we'll head out then. Come on, guys. So we had we had uh the way the voices went, I guess, because you don't actually know which way is out, so we're just gonna I'm just gonna head the other directions we can take. Yeah, like, yeah, or is it just straight? Navigate our way out of this. Just like Okay, so you're going to follow, like, just get out of the, the dungeon area? Yeah. yeah. I guess we have okay. to just leave the beer club for now because we can't just go down there yeah. and be like, also, there's two humans and one's missing an arm. <laughs> just <laughs> chilling down there. We found them. Oh, shoot. We could just say we found them when we went down there. I Wait, guess. Sorry, are you saying this? Before we right leave, now? I'm like, also down there, there was these two humans and one was missing an arm. And they're like, they're on the, they're on whatever the. Couldn't you go back down and get them though? Yeah. Because nobody got the strength check for I, that already. I could, but at but this also point, a tiefling, I don't know like, if it's a good thing or like, not. At this point, so. All right. They haven't caught, they haven't, there's no humans captured, so I'm playing off that maybe they'll just give a slap on the wrist and like release back into the yeah. okay. wild yeah. safely. That's why I'm playing here, because they're going to get found out there anyway, because they're going to go down there to check. Maybe voices. next time we see them, there'll be two more beer boys again. Yeah. So I said like we, we left them at the bottom of the stairs because they were too high out of their minds to climb up, That's but very odd. you guys can deal with it. To be used for sacrifice. Sorry? Where did you say that you saw them? They were outside the barrier. How did they get in the barrier? I have no idea. They did not tell us. I take off my cuffs and I jump at the guy. <laughs> oh. Whoa, Aubrey. Do I need to do anything? Okay. So- uh, roll for initiation. Oh, dear. <laughs> 20, not natural. 13. Or, sorry, 14. Five. I didn't think you were going to fight this guy. <laughs> I know. Don't need the high priest hearing about this. He's like very confused as to why you just started attacking him. But Aubrey, you're up. I give Talon those eyes that could only mean one thing. The dad sword. (laughs) 
I'm gonna need it, I'm buddy. Not, no, I'm not giving it to you because you, I don't want. I didn't want to attack him in the first place. I don't like, want to no, kill him. I, I, like, I just you're attacking him. You're attacking him because you're going first. And you're not gonna give me your backup dagger, so I'm rolling. You're, you're hitting a punch then. I'm not like I, I didn't even want to attack this person. You're yeah. just attacking. I have negative one strength, so do I heal him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. You. All right, I will use a spell on him, and it is called my new spell, Shatter. Dope. So it, I cast a ten foot radius on him. Because okay. he's within 60 feet, I assume. Yeah. He must make a constitution saving throw. Against what, sorry? 14. Uh, no. Fail. Um, okay, so you take 3d8 of thunder damage. 19. Nice. Does it do 19, anything yeah. plus? No, I think it's just... Is it 19 3. plus my charisma modifier, or just a 3d8? Just it says in there. It'll okay, it'll just a 3d8 then, yeah. yeah. Eight, so 19 altogether? 19, yeah. All right, so it is the Tiefling's turn to fight, and he just like looks at you, and he's like, you have made the biggest mistake. So he casts Mind Blank on himself, which is until the spell ends, he is immune to psychic damage, and any sort of like charmed emotions are completely nullified. And that's a passive spell, so he also casts Lightning Bolt on all three of you. And you need to make a Dexterity saving throw against... Six She's immune to Lightning, right? Resistance. Yeah, resistance. So, so, so it just oh, halves whatever I roll? Oh, Dexterity saving, right? Five. Oh, shoot. Only eight. I got a 11. You but then I'm able to half mine? The damage. Okay. Did any of you make it? Nope. Oh, I got a, I got a eleven. I don't know if that makes it. I don't nope. Know yeah, it didn't make it. And what did Aubrey get? Five. I was eight. A lot of rolling. Oh, why? How much rolling is going on here? All of you take sixteen lightning damage. So mine is eight, then I guess. What do you mean? Because I get half since I'm like she's, a lightning dragon. She's resistant to yeah. lightning damage. Which okay. Is pretty sick. You guys still don't want to fight this guy? Well, now we have to. All right, am I next of in order? Yep. All right, I guess I'm going to straight up use my newest uh, thing. So I'm going to do my Fist of Unbroken Air. So I have to use two key points for that. So it just says you have to do a strength saving throw. So I guess you have to get higher than 11 or 11 or higher. Yep, 15. All right, so you take half damage. You have to roll 3d... Oh, I roll 3d10. Yeah. So I got a 5, 5, and a 2. So 6 damage. Wait, what? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. How much? 6. 6 total. If you would have hit him, you would have done all the damage, plus the... You can knock him prone. Yeah. Which is sick, because then you get to... But now you're down two key points. Yeah. It's a big amount. Okay. Uh, Talon, it's your turn. He's not holding a weapon or anything? No. Okay. I'm going to to use... I'm just going to attack, I guess. 11? Did that hit? Nope. Dang. I'm going to use my action surge, I guess, and attack again, because... Gotta get this done. This guy is doing a lot of damage. 18? Oh, that's a hit, yep. Oh, my God. This guy's going to be... We have a... Uh, it's a 7 damage. Okay. Aubrey, it's your turn. All right, so I run to the back of the group, my movement. Mm -hmm. I will cast Shatter again. So you have to beat a Wisdom saving 14. Um, it's 20. Not natural, but 20. So 3d8, half. Does it round up or down? Uh, down. So five damage. And then I use so my bonus action the... to heal myself. Sorry? I use my bonus action to heal myself. And the word is just Hakuna. Not the second part, just Hakuna. Oh, brother. Five health back. So the tiefling, who is mage, obviously, takes his teeth and cuts his palm open with his teeth and puts his hand on the ground and summons a cone of cold against all three of you. And you need a saving throw of 19. Constitution? Yeah. I might be dead, no, you guys. No, sorry, 17. 17. 
I might be fucking dead here, guys. Uh, I passed. I got just 17. I, I got a nine. I'm gonna die. 15. I passed. Only Talon survived. Well, I mean, passed the test. So he only will take half damage on this. So he summons this cold spiral up from the ground and it pierces all three of you for 42 damage. What? <laughs> so, yeah. We're all so down. So all of you are unconscious. Everyone. You're not dead. You're no, just done. Yeah, but. My heart. Who knows how much time has passed, but all three of you are now in a dungeon, so. Together? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we woke up then? Or mm-hmm. um, so at this point though we still have zero hit or or how does that work? I think you're all at one now. Yeah. Okay. So you're on the farthest edge of the jail cell. Beside you there is some dragonborns, and then across the hall from you are some gnomes, and then there's also some orcs around you as well. Does Nova still look like a tiefling? No. Yeah. I think mm. so. Your scale has like it just it just hurts now, and you still you look back in your dragon form form. Oh man, guys, I think we uh, took on a little bit more than we can chew. That guy had hella health points, so I did a decent amount on my first attack. I thought I would have killed him on my first attack. Yeah, I don't think we were meant to necessarily to fight that guy. But anyway, I did it for Stout and, and <laughs> Ippa. <laughs> We're the distraction. They're not going to go look for them now. No, I'm sure they did. I'm sure they, f- they got us and then they just f- found them too or whatever. No. Um, anyway, I guess we're just in the cell and we're looking. Are we look around? Or are you free to walk around the cell? You're free to walk around the cell. How- um, but like the bars around the cell like have like this glowing sort of energy passing through them. So I don't touch those. Uh, dang. Well, guys, we just... We're all feeling, feeling pretty crappy. Like I have, we're all at one HP, so like I'm. Yeah. Do you guys want to like rest for a little bit? I guess get we some have energy back Can we use this as a long brainstorm? Rest? Yeah. You also feel like you may or may not be under the influence of. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh wow. Oh man, I guys, I haven't felt this uh, good since uh, <laughs> the sixties. <laughs> Why do we feel this way? What is this? How does this feel? Like it's just like we're just really dazed. I'd like to think that my tolerance is pretty high, so I'm probably not affected that much. <laughs> I'm like, what? I feel like I'm... You know what, guys? I think this is a great time for us to just sit back and reflect on our day and how great it was. And what went wrong. Oh, yeah. I guess a lot went wrong. Maybe, you know, take a little rest. I don't like being here. I don't like it. I want to get out of here. I'm pacing. I'm trying to thing. spread false propaganda at this point. I'm like, he came at us first. And now they're putting us in jail? No. That is not okay. He came at us. I, You guys gotta believe me. Are he you, came at us. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. Oh, I can't really remember that very well. So can right. we take like a little nap here? Like a long rest or yep. something? Yep. That might be a good time for that. So we get everything back on a long rest? Pretty uh, much? Half, yep. your, half your hit dice. If you use any, if you haven't. But I haven't. Yeah, your HP all comes back. Spell slots. Spell slots are back, yeah. Key points are back. Wait, so I'm back at 20? Oh. I already feel too guilty about the propaganda. I'm just like, it was me, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, it was I me. Want, I, I got to take what? I gotta take this one on. Talon's not even listening. I'm just like, what? I pacing thought I could so do it. Pacing. I can't do it. It was me, guys. It's all right. Now we kind of know uh, what not to do. I think we've been pretty lucky up until now. If all you guys right, are going to so- see me as a leader, you got to trust me. So... <laughs> After that, I don't know if I do. Um, so after you guys finish your long rest, you see two tieflings come down to the pit, and they are carrying like a ton of severed like body parts and like these bags that you can like see like limbs coming out of, and they head towards the staircase down to the labyrinth. Uh-huh. A third tiefling comes in and goes towards the cage and says like these this these words in infernal and Talon and Aubrey go to sleep 
and they take Nova from the cage and bring her up the stairs. Talon and Aubrey are currently high on mushrooms, so their vision's a little bit foggy. And um, Nova is being taken away by two tieflings up the stairs. So they have tried to give you mushrooms, but your body, like, doesn't react to them, Nova. Okay. So you can't get high. Okay. And they're, and it's guards that are taking me up the stairs? Yes. Okay. Just want to point um, out and so, sorry? that if that's the case about Nova, then she was experiencing some sort of, like, What's the pl- like placebo high? Because when we woke up, she was like, "I haven't felt this good since the '60s." <laughs> maybe she just feels the uh, maybe she, she just, just feels like the like effects, good. like the good effects, but she doesn't yeah. like affect her actual judgment. Yeah, like or maybe I was just acting out, pretending that I was feeling that way. But no, but on the suspect <laughs> list, the gang. she goes right to the top. Can I be like pretending that I'm high when they take me up the stairs, just to like? Yeah. Okay. So as you're going up the stairs, you see that, like, you know that red scale that's on the back of your hand? Yeah. It turns into a scale that looks like all of your other scales. It's like Ooh. camouflaging itself. Hmm. Um, can I just be like, whoa, where are you guys taking me? This is taking forever. Um, so they drag you up the stairs and bring you into this room. It's still kind of like a dungeon-y looking room and it has like a chair in the middle of it and they like make you sit on the chair and then they give you more mushrooms to try to get you to like tell the truth or whatever because they think that you're high on the mushrooms. What do you guys want? The two tieflings that are beside you, one's a female tiefling and the other one is a male tiefling. They're both blue and they look very similar other than the fact that they are um, different genders. And the only people that you saw while you were going up the stairs were all like tiefling. So there's no one else in the city that's that you know of that's not a tiefling. They grab you by the arms and like shove you down into the chair. And they're like, where are you from? Uh, Why do you want to know so bad? We know that you have magic in you. We can sense it. We can tell. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm from some small town. They like take their hands and like they go over your shoulders and like try to like sense where this magic from you is coming from. Well, there are ways of for making you talk. Oh, they pull really? out one of them raises their hand in the middle of the room. There's like a piece of concrete that looks like a circle and it rises up out of the ground as they wave their hand over top of it. And then the other one goes to the other side of the room and grabs like this crystal orb thing and puts it on top of like this stone concrete pillar that has just risen out of the ground. So you're on your chair, like basically like staring right at this okay. orb. Wow, it's so pretty. Pretty, but not. And he like waves his hand over top of the orb and you just see inside the orb a scene of your monastery on fire, like where you grew up. What are you guys trying to do here? We want to know where you are from. Okay, well, it seems to me like you already know. The monastery is where you grew up, but where are you from? I honestly can't remember that far. I can only really remember my time in the monastery. As you, like, stare into the the orb of the monastery, you see, like, familiar faces, like, running chaotically outside of the building, and, like, everything is on fire. Please stop. Please stop what you're doing. I promise you, I don't know anything else. We know you have magic on you, and you will tell us. We know you're from the other continent. Where are you from? I don't know. The fire inside of the magical orb burns brighter and brighter until you actually can, like, feel the heat from the orb on your face. Okay, I guess I just sit there because I don't really know what to do. Okay, both of the tieflings are in your face right now. You can, like, see their, like, razor-sharp teeth. You will tell us what you're hiding. And then they wave their hand over top of the orb and the fire stops. And then the concrete pillar goes down and they drag you back downstairs to one of the cells. Okay. Or back into the cell with Talon and Aubrey. Okay. I believe we're both asleep still, so we might not even know that she was gone. Yeah. 
All right, I'm just uh, kind of like crying in the corner, a little really upset. Aubrey, you no longer have your harp or your book on you. Oh my gosh. Do any of us have our stuff? No, like not any of your weapons. You still have your bags. Like in just gold no, and everything, just, just no weapons and armor or like shields and stuff, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. So they took like your, your like anything that could be used as a weapon, but you still have like your pouches with you. Okay. I just hope that Zappy doesn't charge me for the book fees if I don't return this in time. <laughs> Was it a loan? You never know with Zippy Zap. Can I be like looking through my bag and then I find that letter that I had from a dead colleague? They put it in your bag, but you didn't know that it was there. Oh, okay. So I just found it then. Yeah. Okay. Like as you get back to the jail cell, you see like your pouch or whatever, and you can just like go through it just to see what you have and like what they took and what they didn't take. Okay. So I'm searching through the bag and then I find this letter. It's sealed with like um, like a waxy stamp of a symbol that you've never seen before. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. It says, Noah Kaljar, if you're reading this letter, the time has come to know who you are. We brought you to the monastery when you were very young from the other side. It was too dangerous for you over there. I'm sure by now you've noticed that you have a scale on the right hand. This was given to you by the gods. Make sure that it stays hidden, for you will need it in the time to come. And then it just ends. All right. So I guess I might just kind of sit and contemplate over that, waiting for them to wake up and maybe talk about it with them. From what you can tell, it's night, like nighttime, and they haven't started going around the cells giving like the next round of mushrooms yet. So because Aubrey has a higher tolerance, she's good. And Talon is still kind of uh, out of it a little bit. He can talk. He's just out of it. And that's all for this episode, folks. Thanks for listening. This has been Troll with Advantage. Once again, I am Harmony, a.k.a. Aubrey Weathers. I'm Brandon, a.k.a. Talon Dega Knights. And I'm Janelle, a.k.a. Nova Keldrar. And I'm your DM, Michelle. Peace. Talon Daza Knights. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Plug a day keeps the outro in play. I'm Harmony, and here are some plugs. If you want to follow Talon, you can follow him at Brandon Weens on Instagram. That's Brandon, W-I-E-N-S. If you want to follow Nova, you can find her at Janelli03 on Instagram. That's Janelle with a Y-0-3. If you like our DM and want to follow some of her stuff, you can follow Miss Michelle Marie 13 on Instagram. And Aubrey, the dork, is at I'm So Harmony on Twitter. If you want to check out more of my stuff, go to endlessnights.ca. If you have any questions, go to podcast at gmail.com to send us any comments or questions you might have. If you want to see the world around us that we've been adventuring, follow Troll Podcast on Instagram for some pictures drawn by our DM. Thanks to my friend Drew for mixing these episodes. Check his stuff out at wsound.ca. And thank you so much. Enjoy the week. We'll see you next time.